Hello, this is Lucas from Tech Power Math, and uh, today I'm taking a look at MathBlaster.com. If you're not familiar with MathBlaster, this is a series that's been around for quite some time, um, actually 20 years or so, but I hadn't played it since it was brand new and frankly didn't remember much about the gameplay from when it was a brand new game 20 years ago. Um, I was pretty much totally unprepared for the scope of this game. Um, I was expecting something pretty simple and straightforward. And in fact, it's a very vast, uh, complicated world that the creators of Math Blaster have created. Um, to start, you have an avatar, uh, like many kids' games nowadays, that you can um, you can upgrade, you can earn points, and do um, different unlockables. Um, but the the avatar can interact with other players' avatars. Uh, that are also playing the game and you can see those other players while you're out there. Um, parents have total control over the interactive um, features between how students can interact with other students um, and in fact they can even turn those features off if, uh, if they're concerned about that for any reason. But it's a very large world. Um, you have the ability to uh, unlock levels, unlock, uh, uh, make friends, host parties, um, get pets that off, um, open up other levels um, and what you're seeing in this video is just a very small part of the gameplay uh, because there's just uh, there was just no way in a short video to really give you the scope of all the different things that you can do with Math Blaster. Um, as for the gameplay you can probably see um, as you're watching this video that uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty impressive uh, product they put together here um, there's a variety of different kinds of games. Uh, some are 3D, uh, some are platformers like uh, like Mario. Um, the graphics are really good. I felt like the music was great, and uh, I apologize for not being able to include that in this video. But I had some had some problems uh, getting the audio to sync correctly. Um, but really enjoyed the games that that go along with Math Blaster. Um, I found that some of the games were more math intensive than others. Um, some of the tasks were more math intensive than others. In other words, uh, some levels you could get by without being very successful at the math. Um, other games, uh, you couldn't make any progress at all without being very successful at the math. Um, but overall, to continue advancing and upgrading your character, you do have to continue solving problems. And there are quite a few different kinds of problems from uh, addition, multiplication, uh, subtraction, to place value problems, money problems, um, even some simple geometry problems. Uh, there were a lot of different kinds of things to challenge the kids as they continue forward. So in conclusion, I have to say I, I really did enjoy MathBlaster.com. Um, it's a very, uh, you pay month by month or you can pay by the year, but it's actually a, a very cheap a monthly subscription price and uh, so it's easy to try out for a month and if it's not a good fit for your kid um, easy to, to cancel at any time and, and move on but uh, I do recommend you head over there and, and give mathblaster.com a try I've also got a link in the description box to my review on Tech Power Math which has uh, more information and uh, links directly to mathblaster.com thanks for watching